takes this woman to be married. I do. Thank you. Would you like to take your seats, please, ladies and gentlemen? Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joan Leyland. I'm one of the superintendent registrars of the Rural Registration District. And this is my colleague, Jane Green, who will be registering the marriage. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to Wallasey Town Hall, a place that has been duly sanctioned, according to law, for the celebration of marriages and civil partnerships. And we are here to witness the joining of matrimony of Geoffrey and Yvonne. Should anyone know of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Would you like to stand here so you can see the bride and groom? Geoffrey and Yvonne would like to welcome all their family and friends here today to share in their happiness and witness their vows in the public declaration of their love for each other. This marriage will enable the love and respect they have for each other today to develop into a deep and lasting relationship. Before you commit to this marriage, it is my duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage, according to the laws of this country, is the union of one man and one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. A commitment to marriage requires devotion, the ability to listen and learn from each other, the wisdom to know when you are wrong, and the humility to admit it. Above all, it requires unquestioning love between two people, always caring for and supporting each other through all the challenges, joys, and sorrows of life together. So will you, Geoffrey, take Yvonne to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving and faithful to her for the rest of your married life together? I do. And will you, Yvonne, take Geoffrey to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving and faithful to him for the rest of your married life together? I do. Now this means you have both declared that you are free to marry. Oh, sorry, we move on to the part of the ceremony where you both declare that you are free to marry. And I'd like your witnesses to join you, please. Jeffrey, could you repeat after me first of all? I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Jeffrey David Harrison. Why I, Jeffrey David Harrison. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Yvonne Eileen Butler. To Yvonne Eileen Butler. And Yvonne. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I of any lawful impediment. Why I, Yvonne Eileen Butler, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Jeffrey David Harrison. To Jeffrey David Harrison. Now this means you have both declared you are free to marry, and for this to move on to the contract of marriage, where you take each other as husband and wife. And I would like you all to stand for this part of the ceremony. <coughs> I'd like to turn and face each other and hold hands. Mm -hmm. You address these words to your bride, please, Jeffrey. I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I, Jeffrey David Harrison. To witness that I, Jeffrey David Harrison. Do take thee, Yvonne Eileen Butler. Do take thee, Yvonne Eileen Butler. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to love and protect you forever. I promise to oops, love and protect you forever. <laughs> <laughs> love and protect you forever. To cherish and care for you. To cherish and care for you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. And you want? I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Yvonne Arlene Butler. To witness that I, Yvonne Arlene Butler. Do you take me, Jeffrey David Harrison? Take me, the David to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love and protect you forever. I promise to love and protect you forever. To cherish and care for you. To cherish and care for you. Whatever the future may be. Whatever the future may be. And we have now come to the exchange of rings, which is the traditional way of sealing the contract you have both just made. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle, 
It has no beginning and it has no end. It symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promises that you have just made to each other. So Andy, would you like to pass the bride to Jeffrey for me, please? <laughs> You like to place the ring on too long to sleep. Would you like to hold the ring and address these words to your bride? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To our marriage. To our marriage. I promise to love. I promise to love. Cherish. Cherish. Honor and respect you. Honor and respect you. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I ask you to wear it today and always. I ask you to wear it for today and always. And if you like to pass the green ring to Yvonne for your kids. You like to place the ring on Jeffrey's finger. You hold the ring, Yvonne, and address these words to Jeff. I give you this ring as a symbol of my commitment to our marriage. I promise to love, cherish, honour and respect you from this day forward. For better, for worse, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live, I ask you to wear it today and always. You have made the declarations required to be made before me by law, and both having consented to be joined together in matrimony with the giving and receiving of rings, and with the same in the presence of this company, Jeffrey and Yvonne, I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You make us sit <laughs> well, Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the actual marriage ceremony, but we now have the signing of the register. If you'd all like to take your seats, please. And Yvonne, if you'd like to come down this side. And Jeffrey, if you'd come this side. <laughs>